Hey everyone, my name's Andy. My channel's Finding Value. If you like investing in the most undervalued assets in the world, click subscribe. We do it through ratio investing. I'll show you how to do it. And if you like this content, give me a thumbs up. <clears throat> so I'm going to go over one point because there's there two comments here that were questions. One was, why am I comparing gold to uranium? And could I do the ratio swaps? So swapping precious metals using ratios with just gold and silver. So the first one is, so back in 1950, a gallon of gas was 25 cents. My question to you is, is that cheap? And you're gonna say, I don't know. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back to 1950 and you're gonna look at other assets and what they were valued at. You're basically doing a ratio analysis. That's what you're doing. You're, you're saying, what is this asset and the price of this asset in relationship to other assets? So you're just doing a ratio analysis and saying, oh, well, yeah, relative, this relative to this is cheaper than that. Therefore, it's cheap. I mean, that's all ratio analysis is. So it's identifying assets and what assets are cheap. And when I use uranium to gold, gold is our barometer of inflation. It is our gold standard. If we measure against gold, we take away all the BS that the dollar has with it. And you just measure real money and other assets against real money. And then you get a true value of that asset. Very easy to talk in ratios once you understand how to value things using ratios. So I'm gonna go through an example here. <clears throat> it is with gold and silver, physical precious metals, and using ratios to do our swaps. Let's jump in there and look to see what I have on ratio investing. So using only gold and silver, I graduated high school in 99, so that's our starting point roughly. 99, 2000, it's about a 20 year scenario. I swapped or bought gold at a ratio of 50, and I swapped to silver at 75. No ifs, ands, or buts. That is what I swapped it at. I didn't try to do anything else, just 50 and 75. So 99, uh, we purchased gold, it was $278 an ounce. Let's say we use $10,000 and we've got 36 ounces of gold. So 36 ounces of gold is what we have in 1999. So here's our swap points. We purchased gold in 99, 2000. It was low right here. Uh, and keep in mind, these are averages. These are not the high points and low points in those years. These are, this is just an average of that year. And they spiked up and they came down and spiked down and they came up and spiked up like that. But these are averages. There's one, two, three, four, five swaps. The red ones are swaps to silver. The black ones are swaps to gold. So we bought our gold and we're gonna ride it up, swap, 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 swap. So silver swap, gold swap, silver swap, gold swap, and silver swap. Hopefully you can follow that. This is the ratio on the side. Anything under 50 under here is a gold swap. Anything over 75 up here is a silver swap. Now notice this didn't hit 75, but this is an average. This actually went up and pegged and got it throughout the year. The year 2003, we swapped our gold to silver. It's a one to 75 ratio, 36 times 75 is 2,700 ounces of silver. So we have 2,700 ounces of silver in 2003. Next, we did another swap in 2006 because the ratio went down to one to 50. So we turned our 2,700 ounces divided by 50 is now 54 ounces of gold. We have 54 ounces of gold from an original 36. We increased our gold holdings. We got wealthier. We increased our purchasing power. So now we, we took, took away those two swap points. We've got three more swap points to go. So in 2008, we swap our 54 ounces of gold because it's a bottom for silver. Uh, it went way low. But we, we remember, we're, I'm only using the 75 ounce ratio. So 54 times 75 is 4,050 ounces of silver. Next, in 2011, we were at a peak. We swapped it too early, but we swapped it at a 1 to 50 ratio. So 40, 50 divided by 50 is 81 ounces. We have 81 ounces of gold. And then in the year 2014, silver got cheap again, and we swapped our 81 ounces of gold to 6,075 ounces of silver. And that's what we would have today. So you'd have 6,075 ounces of silver at the moment. The dollar price is $25 times 6,075. 
and it equals 151,875. It is a 13.85% increase uh, of return per year. So 13.85. The one thing I want you to, to get out of this is it still works. Uh, gold and silver swapping works just great. You increased your ounces of holding or your holding of ounces, however you want to say it. And I think that it's very, it's, it's, it, you want to incorporate platinum and palladium if you can. And platinum right now is so stinking cheap in relationship to everything that I think it's a huge opportunity. That's why I was buying platinum in mass this past year, year and a half. Uh, it was very much so silver before that in 2018, 2019. So if you incorporate palladium, your returns go way higher because of the volatility of palladium. Uh, platinum is not nearly, I would say platinum has its time in the sun and it's typically during commodity bull markets, like we're entering now. So platinum, I think, is going to do exceptionally well. Same with silver. Those two uh, physical precious metals, I think, are gonna, they're going to tear it up. So hopefully you have a little bit better understanding of ratio and, and why we're using ratios to value assets. Uh, it, it's, it's, a, it's a standard that doesn't change over time. It's very easy to use. Dollars are garbage, and that, that dollar value continues to decline, and you can't really use it as a unit of measure. That's, that's the, whole, the whole point of, of going to ratio analysis. You guys like this content. Subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. I appreciate you guys listening. This is Finding Value.